Well, after a five-year break, Nickelback are ready to get us rolling again with an album full of new music. Their 10th album is out tomorrow, and we are so excited to get all the details from Chad, Ryan, and Daniel. Now, we should mention Mike is not here. <laughs> Mike, yeah. He's we, still in the band. He's still in the band. We got three quarters of Nickelback today. There, there you go. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I've been listening to the new music all week. It's awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, f five years, like, who makes the first call? How does it all work? Like, let's, you know, let's do this. Uh, it, you know, when uh, the big pause button was pressed on the entire world, uh, we looked around and said, <laughs> other people are making records <laughs> at this point. We should probably get in the room and, uh, and start working on some new music. I like really want a reality show with you guys because I've gone down the rabbit hole of all of your interviews and everything. I just think that you're a lot of fun. Like, I think oh. you're a lot of fun behind the scenes, and I feel like there's a lot of stories. I do just want to brag on you for a minute because I know you guys are also humble, okay? So I got to cheat here. Um, you are the 11th best selling musical act of all time, second best selling foreign or international group in the U.S. of the 2000s, behind only the Beatles. 50 million units sold, 4.7 billion streams, 23 chart topping singles. What do you still love about you it? You must have made it. Of that. I'm just gonna say, but my, my my mom sent you that. <laughs> like, where did you get this? Or Morgan, our no, our our, incre our incredible producer. But like, what do you, what do you still love about it? Like, what because this it's it is a grueling schedule, right? Like, yeah, it can it it absolutely can be. I, I don't I don't know. It's I would rather be doing nothing else. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I miss the I mean, camaraderie, you know, seeing everyone again, even all our texts yeah. and just the laughs we have, all that backstage stuff you're talking about, the travel days, as hard as they are, like the stories and the bits that we come up with are just hilarious. Okay. It's family, right? Yeah, well, and I want to I want to ask you about that because there's some lyrics that like really stood out to me and I'm like, I want to know what the story is behind these. So in those days, I, yeah. I always write down like lines that I love. Sure. Um, what we would live to just relive a single day. Oh, Was yeah. there a day that you were talking about? Uh, what we, I think it's what we'd give to live just another, uh, you're talking about like the trip down memory lane. It's the nostalgia, right? It's the, you know, you like, I'd give anything, you know, for one of those days. You know, go back and just be a kid again. There's like, there's no pressure, you get mm -hmm. no adulting, you know. Because back then we would just like wake up and it was either a skateboard or your BMX bike or whatever it was, and you'd be gone all day okay. with your friends. Yeah. You know, you just disappear and and like those were. Those were great times. I mean, we all look back on that, hopefully, with, you know, the utmost fondness. Yeah. And so, uh, anyway, that's where these songs come from. It's just like, when I spit out a line and I said something like, remember when the streetlights came on and we had to be home? And we all went, yeah. And, and I, I said. I think we all remember that. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I encourage everyone to, like, re like, really pay attention to the lyrics because right. it's great. Wait, there's another one that I feel like there's a good one. Something about Star 6 9. Oh, remember those oh. prank calls we made with Star 6 9? Okay, who's the one who's doing the pranks and who's the one of the group who's on the receiving end of the pranks? <laughs> well, I think this guy would be pranking probably more people than not, I would imagine. You know who you shouldn't prank? The operator. She knows where you're calling. Oh, my God. From Don't experience. you remember doing from that experience. Star 6 9? Like, we all used to, usually it was oh. like, maybe like to call to see if a boyfriend was home or something like that. Or, or the prank. Um, wait, so is this true? You guys just performed together for the first time. It's been three years? Yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. What is that like? Like, what is that like when you're, <laughs> you know, like when you're up on that stage and everybody sings your songs and, they, you know, I know. Uh, it's, it's a ton of adrenaline, you know, and, and the, like, we want to, we want to convince everybody that we're like these veterans, you know, these professionals, and we've been doing this the for so long. The voice got deeper as we said yeah, that. I did, I did notice and, that. And like you get on stage and, and the adrenaline starts going and it's like, okay, take it easy, take it easy. And you start like, yeah. like what's happening in here? That is yeah. still there before a like, show. Yeah. Like panic and starts setting in and it's just like, we've done this a million times. Well, but you got to knock the dust off and you got to remember, it's just like, Hey, they just want to sing along with you. Just get the thing started, and they'll they'll do. Oh, that's, they'll, oh, that's they'll awesome. do all the heavy lifting. I, I want to uh, point out also for our locals. So you guys are going to be in Connecticut and New Jersey. That's right. Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Um, can we also talk about being inducted into the uh, Canada's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. That like I don't know. Like do, do you, I, I listed off all the stack, but like does this stuff phase you anymore, or is it just kind of like oh, okay? All that's right, a big you one. Know? That's that one's a, pretty special. That's to a big our home country, right? Yeah. It's. Uh, yeah, the awards are, you know, across the board, there's lots of different places to kind of land, but that one is pretty special for us. And, uh, I mean, 
We'll go in any other one too. I just can't see this. And then the other one. <laughs> well, anybody out there? Um, no, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll just, take it. Being we'll from take Canada it. and having them recognize you, it's pretty special. Yeah. Uh, something I told you that I was like going down the deep dive of all of your videos. I love these confessionals that you did. There was a great video. So let me yeah. ask you, what is the least rock star thing about Nickelback today? Which I pulled from this, by the way. Like I'm not just making that up. What is the least rock star thing the, about? The least? Yeah. The, oh we play God. in Nickelback. Yes. <laughs> that is got to be the least. <laughs> rock star thing about this band. It's kind of just a long list. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And also, I should point out too, like everyone's got to go to your social media because fans can also text you. So I want to hear about some of those those texts yeah. in the break. Yeah, yeah fine. Like yeah. I feel like there must be some really good stuff there. All right. Well, get rolling and get rolling. Deluxe will be available via digital platforms and physical CD purchases starting tomorrow. You can pre-order now at Nickelback.com. Thank you guys so much. You. you guys are Thank awesome. You. I really Thanks appreciate you being here.